Uh, so Layla, uh, I, I see how the Lord is cleansing your bloodline. So I see you have like a, a, um, a mantle on, but I see um, it's, uh, it's stained red. Uh, and it's, it's a picture of, of uh, sin and curse from your bloodline. And then I see how you come into the courts of heaven and how the Lord removes that, that mantle off of you and he puts a new white uh, robe on you. And how the Lord says that I'm washing your bloodline clean. Uh, I'm, I'm uh, forgiving the sins uh, of the, the forefathers and none of those curses will come against you. And then I see how you, uh, where you were the whole time walking with restrictions, pushing you back. How you were free and you didn't have that limitations in your life. And so the Lord is really breaking limitations off of your life tonight. God bless you, Layla. Amen. God bless you, Layla. This next word is for Amanda. Amanda, I just feel the Lord says that He's pouring out His oil on your life. And also there's like a, it's like you're entering into like a new chapter, a new season in your life. And I feel God says new revelation, a new hope, a new, um, just your relationship with God is really going to change and just grow. Um, and I just feel how the Lord is really, um, I, I don't know if you're filled with the Holy Spirit and can pray in tongues, but I just feel that there's like a new release of um, when you spend time with God and when you're, you're praying in the spirit it's just like a new outpouring of his presence so if you can pray in tongues um amazing if you can't and then go to a friend that um can to, so that friend can pray over you but i just really feel that like god is re reigniting the fire in your heart god loves you amanda god bless you Amen, Miss Amanda. Please give us a comment. This next word is for Daniela. Daniela, the Lord is asking you to come into his river and to go and to drink and get refreshed and start planning. The Lord says, make moves. Start acting on what I have spoken to you and what I am speaking to you. Write it down and, and, and take it... Take it to action. The Lord shows me how you start to, how he gives you, how he gives you this plan. You start to work at it. You start to build this house that the Lord has given you to build. This, this document, this blueprint that the Lord has given you and you start building. And the Lord says, just start and he will guide you. Start moving. And the Lord shows me how your hands will just know what to do as you yield to the Holy Spirit. Be blessed. Okay, Daniela, God bless you. Uh, please write us a comment. Uh, family, thank you for all the wonderful comments I see. Uh, I want to encourage you, uh, if you have a prayer, tonight, a prayer request tonight, just write it in the comments. And when we see someone put in a prayer request, let's pray for one another. It, you know, when we start to love one another, that's when we open up a gate for God's glory and His uh, presence to come into our lives. All right. So the next person I want to minister is uh, Marvin. All right. Uh, so Marvin, I really feel that the Lord is touching you today and he's just encouraging you. Uh, I, I see how uh, you got a little bit of stuck and how the Lord is just uh, unstucking you. He's putting his anointing on you. He's strengthening you. And then right at, from the moment when I start to, to um, uh, speak to you, I just felt an anointing for financial breakthrough. So uh, I feel that you've had a long path to get this breakthrough and I just felt the Lord is just pouring more of the anointing of God on you to see uh, finances and the favor of God being released in your life. God bless you Marvin. Amen. God bless you Marvin. God loves you. All right. This next word is for Christine. Christine, while praying for you, I just felt how the Lord is, I just saw how the Lord has given you a sword and you had the sword for a long time. And I just see how God is just re sharpening the sword and, and so it, it's not dull. And I just feel how the Lord is really sharpening you and the Lord has really called you to, um, to come into higher places and then I just feel the Lord says leadership that there's a lot of people that you're going to lead into the presence of God um, whether it's through worship through prayer through ministry even through um, just visiting and counseling and talking to people I just feel how the Lord says I've given you a gifting to lead people into my presence then lastly healing God is right now healing you and God is healing a lot of people that you love so just keep on praying for them God bless you 
Amen. Miss Christine, please leave us a comment. I know you will. You always leave amazing comments. This next word is for Dricky. The Lord says, do not be afraid to start speaking, to start praying over those situations that are hard in your life, because th those are those are times where we can grow our faith. When things go, when things are not going as well as we want, we must see that as this is a time for me to grow in prayer and in 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 the speech that the Lord has has given me over this situation the Lord says even around your house he says to to verbally make a sound and start speaking and see how how the waters will will be will be still and the and how the mountains will will be lowered and the valleys will be filled when you start to speak in the words that the Lord gives you be blessed Hey, uh, thank you very much, Driggy. God bless you. So, Yolani, I see how worship comes out of you and how you're very comfortable to worship uh, and even write songs of worship. Mm -hmm. But now I see how the Lord says it's time to take new territory and now it's time to, uh, time to change from a worship song to a praise song. And so as the, the uh, Jehoshaphat uh, went in front of the armies of Israel, the Lord was fighting the battle uh, for them. And I see with your family, uh, all of your family is, is going uh, through, uh, through a battle, uh, but this battle is to gain new territory that the Lord wants to give to you. He's giving you favor, He's giving you the land, He's giving you the promise. But the Lord says, now is the time to sing a song of praise and to dance before the Lord and see how the Lord fight the battle on your behalf. And I believe the Lord is giving you a word of break, uh, breakthrough and new occupation. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. This next word is for Petronella. Petronella, I just feel the Lord is really hiding you into a secret place. And then I see how how the Lord says, my outpouring is so ready for you. But the Lord wants you to prepare like the cup for you to receive it. And I just see like an expansion. It, it, the picture God showed me was like this expansion of this of this um, goblet, of this cup. And God wants to expand you so you can receive more of Him. You will still overflow, but there is such an expansion God is doing within you. You. And I really feel how the Lord is. It, it was like you were in a in a room of darkness, and you tore off all of the um, all of the curtains um, in that place, so that they can be like natural light coming to the room. And I just feel that that's what you do. That you come into places and you take off um, covers, and you you bring in so much light. And I just feel the Lord says, I've given you a calling to wherever you go. I, it, it's like God is the Holy Spirit is just going to lead you. Do this work here and you're going to see light come into places that people thought were impossible um, to function or to be to, or even to become beautiful. I just feel the Lord says, I've given you a gift to make things beautiful. God loves you. God bless you. Amen, Miss Petunella. Please leave us a comment. This next word is for Efeshuku. Efeshuku, the Lord saying, he says, come into unity with the people around you because unity demands blessing. And the Lord shows me how you are, you are pressing in, you are pressing in. But if you are not in unity in the in the presence of the Lord in the room surrounding you with ev with all the people, even where you work, I hear the Lord saying like like if you can like get together and just have like a prayer at the beginning of the day and say Lord whatever you want to do we want to come into line with that and the Lord shows me how he reveals to you this is how I'm moving today and you come into unity in, in, a, in alignment with what the Lord is doing that day in that time in that place and I see how there will be blessings because you are in unity be blessed hey, God bless you his hand is upon your life uh, you such a positive, inspiring man. Uh, God bless you. Uh, so next word is for John Mayberg. John, uh, the Lord is just saying to me how he's helping you to move from your head to your heart and to go out of uh, reasoning into the world of faith. The Lord is putting his fire and his anointing in you. And he's giving you passion and desire uh, to move mountains. And I just see how, how the Lord is giving you a vision for your life. And with that heart and that conviction that God has given to you, you move forward. And so where your mind may be saying, but I cannot do it. Uh, the, your heart is saying, I can do it. And I see that that's going to be the secret to your success. That you allow yourself to be emotional uh, and let the passion and the fire and the desire that God gives you push you forward. God bless you. Amen, Mary. The picture God should be for you. So, you know, when we get like a paper cut or we, we hurt ourselves sometimes. And then I, I just feel how how you come into the presence of God and you have an expectation to be healed. But they still like those scars. And I just feel the Lord is saying, I'm doing such a 
deep, amazing healing in your life, that those scars are going to go away. I just feel the Lord says, I'm doing a deep healing in you and because you are worthy and you're beautiful and I want to do that complete work in your life. So I just feel the Lord says, all the things in your life that are not finished, the Lord is completing them. And then I feel, Mary, that the Lord also says that he has called you. Uh, I see how you're like by a desk and, and, and if I could describe how the desk looked like, it looked like a president's office. And I and I just feel the Lord is, is calling you to study and to equip yourself because you have a very big calling in your life and I just feel the Lord is, is with you for, for what you are doing whether it's with, with your work with administration or you are studying or, 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 or you want to do something I just feel or even writing down what the Lord is saying to you but I just feel that you are going to do something so amazing with a desk and a pen and a, and a, a paper and a pen and I just feel the Lord Holy Spirit is really going to be with you with that God loves you Mary God bless you Amen, Mary. Please leave us a comment. Thanks for this for Lucy. Lucy, the Lord is building up what the enemy is breaking down, what he doesn't want to, to be built back up again. The Lord says he is building that back up. So you don't have to worry what the enemy has stolen. And, and, and we stay, even though the enemy has stolen things, but we stay faithful to the Lord. We repent. We, we change what we were doing because obviously that was not leading on the right path. The Lord shows me how, how you repent and you, and you turn and the Lord shows me how he, how he brings back to you like double and triple what you have lost because you remain faithful to the Lord and, and in his covering. The Lord saying, daughter, come back under my covering, under my shield of protection. And the Lord shows me how, how in that shield is, is ground, is really good ground for you to grow when you are covered by the Lord, where you, can, where, where you will find spiritual nutrients in God. Be blessed. Hey, Lucy, God bless you. Uh, so the next word is for Christina the toy. Christina, I really felt that the Lord is just bringing bringing healing to your mind and healing to your physical body. And I see how the Lord helps you to start to love yourself more and to realize that you are valuable and that the Lord has a massive purpose for you. And so it's almost as if in your mind you have a blockage that say, I cannot do it or I can only do so much. But the Lord is taking that limitation off of you and is helping you to see, but I can do so much more. And also the Lord is putting his healing anointing on you. So I don't know if you have a physical condition in your body, but I just see oil and more oil and oil of the Holy Spirit of healing that the Lord is putting onto you and he's cleaning you, he's purifying you and he's healing your your body and your mind. God bless you. Amen. This next word is for Sujan. God loves you so much. I, I just feel how the Lord has given you a calling and it, I'll just grab the picture. So it's like God has called you to make a bowl of soup, right? And this soup is going to feed many, many people. And I, and I just feel how um, the Lord is calling you to make something that's going to heal, um, really bring so much revelation and breakthrough and really heal so many people and I just feel the Lord says just start and it's like you're putting so much pressure on yourself and a lot of things are going on that are, are actually not really necessary and I just feel the Lord is really refocusing you and he's calling you to these are all these things going on give it to me lay it at my feet I need you to focus on this and make this um, pot of soup so that you can give it to people and I just feel the Lord says you are going to change a lot of people's lives so the Lord says don't hold back start keep on going and ask the Holy Spirit to, to tell you very clearly and I feel like you already know in your heart what is from the Lord what do you need to focus on now and everything lay it at his feet God is doing such an amazing work in your life God loves you God bless you Amen, sit down, please leave us a comment. This next word is for Hazel. Hazel Minds, the Lord shows me how, how you just start to, to stretch and you start to jump around and you start to just, to, to, to just feel like the space around you and you're like, I need to fill this space with praise. Are you just like, well, I, this space needs praise. This place needs the presence of the Lord. And you just start to release and pour out and praise God. And even in places or situations, people are like, well, why are you so happy now? Did you not see what, what just happened? Why, why are you praising now? But the Lord shows me how you just invite the Lord into that situation and how he changes everything. And how that place, instead of a place where everything was, was hard and dark, is now a meeting place. A meeting place. Um, um, a, a meeting place with the Lord where you can respond to what is happening around you with the Lord is my shepherd. 
and I will praise him in every circumstance, yeah. in every place. Be blessed. Hey, okay. Aizel, God bless you. Aizel, I just feel that you are such a faithful servant of God, and the Lord is very, very proud of you. Uh, God bless you, Aizel. Uh, so family, uh, we're going to prophesy uh, probably to around about 30 people or so, and then we're going to take communion together. So if you don't have communion, I don't know, Kimmy, do we have communion here? Like yeah, communion is going to get it for us. But if you don't have communion, you can just get bread and water or juice. Um, uh, but uh, get something that you can use for the communion, and then we can all take communion together. It's good for us to take communion. Jesus actually recommended to his disciples that they, every time when they come together that they take communion. So that's what we also going to do tonight. All right. So the next person I want to minister to is Anna. Uh, so Anna, I, I really felt that the Lord is releasing fear and anxiety off of your life and how He's filling you up with His Holy Spirit, with His love and with His um, breath, with His, his life. Uh, and I actually saw how a, a big weight was on you and how that weight was lifted um, off of you. Uh, in a word, the Lord says there, Cast your cares upon me, for I care for you. Mm -hmm. And I just felt that the Lord is taking all that cares and that burdens that was so heavy on your life, and He's taking it from you. And He says to you, daughter, I care for you, and I'm willing that to carry that burden for you as you walk with me. And so the Lord says, I love you, daughter. And even that love of God that, that, that's poured out into your heart, uh, is dispersing all of the, is casting out all the fear that's came, coming against you. The love, the Lord loves you very much. And, and I feel, especially in that area of finances, the Lord says, do not fear. I will provide for you and I will give you favor, not only for you, but so, for your other family members also. God bless you, Anna. Amen. God bless you, Anna. That was so powerful. Um, please give us a comment. We'll love to connect with you. That word was really amazing. This next word is for Vicky. Vicky, I just feel how the Lord is healing your sleep um, and giving you just so much yeah. more peaceful in sleep. And Because sometimes we can sleep, but like we don't feel like we get any rest or maybe like an... an, an um, it's, it's not like such a consistent um, time where you go, but I just feel the Lord says he's just going to bless your sleep. And then also, I just saw the Lord has placed his hands in your ears and how the Lord is really, I don't even know, maybe he's, he's also healing it in the physical, but I also feel in the spiritual, God has really called you to hear his voice and to hear his word because you are his sheep and he is your shepherd. And then Vicky, I, I just feel how um, how you you raise your hands in worship and how it was, it is like and it's like you raise them like high as like someone would raise a banner and it's like they were like glowing like gold and I, and I just feel how the Lord says I, I've called you to lay your hands on the stick I've called you whatever I don't know maybe you crochet or make something whatever creative things you do with your hands I just feel how the Lord is going to bless those works that you do um yeah God loves you so much Vicky God bless you Amen, Vicky. Please leave us a comment. This next word is for Barnabas. I hear the Lord. Let me make it the right color. I hear the Lord saying, I respect this. I hear the Lord saying, just respect this place. Respect where I have placed you. It, the Lord shows me how he is, he is going to be moving there so, so mightily. And he says, I want you to prepare. Prepare this place for me. Prepare it with, with prayers and with, and with, and with, um, just the Lord shows me even like cleanliness and making it look lovely that the Lord can, that as he enters in, that it is fit for a king. Where you are now, the Lord says, respect that place. And I'm not saying you're not, but even more so because he shows me how he really is really coming like, like a flood and he's coming in that place. So prepare the place for the Lord. Be hey, awesome. Thank you very much. Um, so family, I want to uh, just remind you, we are recording this also on our camera. So after the session, I'm just going to uh, post this video, this video recording. Um, sometimes with our internet uh, that we have here, um, uh, the sound is not always perfect. And that's why I'll, I'll fix it and then I'll, I'll post it also for us. So uh, that's, just, that's just a reminder. Okay, so the next person I want to minister to uh, is Sherika. All right, so Sherika. Uh, I feel the Lord is putting on you a crown uh, in the area of finances. 
uh, he's giving you a crown. And so the Lord says, uh, where finances was in your heart a place of trauma and a place of pain uh, and a burden, the Lord says uh, it's going to become a passion. It's going to become as a place from where abundance uh, and generosity flows. Uh, then I see equally with that financial anointing that God gives you is a family anointing. And so people's going to look at you and see, but I want to be like you because you got an anointing for family. And I felt there's going to be a massive a miracle that the Lord is going to do in your family. And that's going to be a testimony in your life. God bless you. Amen. Um, Akeem, God loves you so much. I just see how the Lord has really called you to, to be a leader. And I just see how, how the Lord has given you these keys and these golden keys. And I just feel how the Lord is really opening up doors. Um, and then it, it is like you're going to rise up. I just see you're really going to rise up. And I just see so much gold. And, and I just see how God is really placing you um, in, in such an amazing position. But at the same time, you are like washing people's feet just as Jesus did for his disciples and I just feel the Lord says I've called you to be a leader that's going to raise up leaders and then Akeem I just I also feel that God is also calling you for um um, for, for business, I see, oh, and, and right now you're in a situation, there's like a lot of paperwork in front of you, there's paper, and it's even like recorded in heaven, um, like, and I just see how the Lord is with you, and He's going to help you sort out this issue, this mountain of paper that you need to, to go through, if, if I could describe it, I just feel the Lord is going to be with you for that, um, so yeah, God loves you so much, God bless you. Amen, Akeem, please leave us a comment, this next word is for Miss Elizabeth. The Lord shows me how there is a really, really big hunger in you, a craving for the Lord, and how you are drawing that. How, how even in, in worship that you are that you are just craving the Lord. You are just wanting His presence. And the Lord says, don't stop stirring. Where you are, don't stop stirring the presence of God inside of you. Don't let the noise from the outside world quench this this water inside of you that is just that is just stirring and stirring and wanting more of the presence of God and, and to go deeper and deeper. Keep your mind, keep the keep the Lord on the forefront of your mind every day and the Lord tells me how your concentration will improve like you will be more or more efficient with your time when you have the Lord as number one somehow in 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 the most miraculous way possible he brings everything else into alignment we seek him first and all these things and yeah be blessed awesome thank you very much Elizabeth God bless you uh, the Lord is so proud of you just come past please so uh, I really feel that the Lord is just going to help you um, uh, to, to have faith and confidence. Um, uh, so it's, it's like you're shaking off the, the past. Now sometimes obviously our thoughts wants to creep back. And I just felt the Lord is going to give you conf uh, confidence but also discipline. Do not allow that old thoughts to come back. Um, you know, we have to walk according to the spirit and not according to the flesh. And so uh, part of the flesh is it wants to creep back. And try to tell us what you, you cannot. And the Lord is saying to you, you can. And even Christopher, the Lord is anointing him. And the Lord says he can. All right. God bless you, Elizabeth. All right. So uh, the next word is for uh, Louise uh, Aiken. Okay. So Louise, uh, I just see how the Lord has planted you so solidly. Uh, how strong you are. How steadfast you are. How you are anchored for so many people. You are a beacon of hope. Uh, you are strength. You are a pillar. Uh, and uh, you are tremendously strong uh, and when people around you uh, wants to want to fail and they want to give up uh, you are that one that says no let's keep on standing uh, even through difficult times and not give up and not quit uh, because the Lord has given us a vision and I just see how you are strong and you have tremendous endurance and perseverance that the Lord has given to you but now the Lord is adding to that strength of you also his joy and the Lord says you're gonna laugh and even when a storm comes, you're gonna continue to laugh and you're gonna be walking in victory and in the Bible it says that they uh, do not lose your crown of rejoicing and I see how the Lord is putting on your head a crown of rejoicing and how you rise up uh, victorious 
Uh, you are a daughter of God and you will win. I just really feel victory after victory after victory. God bless you. Amen. God bless you, Louisa. That was powerful. God loves you. This next word is for Emmanuel. Emmanuel. I just feel how the Lord is really lifting up a cloud um, from your head and he's like, it, if I could describe it as like a light bulb, uh, like a light shining on your head and I just feel the Lord says, let your light shine. Um, and then I just see how the Lord has given you a gift to make, to, to build and to create something amazing. It's like, you can like build like anything from nothing and God just gives you the tools and he provides so I just feel the Lord says whatever you start whatever you do the Lord will give you favor and he will help you with that and then I see how you um, and it looks like you are a doctor um, and how the Lord has called you to go out and to pray for people and to heal people um, through, through God's power and I, I just feel how the Lord is really going to to give you so much understanding and knowledge, especially when it comes to people and relationships, but also to really um, understand the Holy Spirit and who um, the Holy Spirit is in your life. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I just feel the Lord says, let the Holy Spirit be your guide and, and whatever words you speak, let that those words flow from him. And I just feel that you're going to, the words that you speak are really going to be such a guide and a blessing to a lot of people. So um, flow in the Spirit, speak, through the Holy Spirit because you got the gifting for it. God bless you. And then Emmanuel, please leave us a comment. You have an amazing, amazing name. This next word is for Floyd, who also has an amazing name. Floyd, <laughs> Floyd, the Lord shows me how 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 you the Lord is just bubbling up inside of you and he is giving you energy to take action. The Lord shows me how you, how your hands feel like they are on fire and you just start to like punch and you start to pray and like but this is all like the physical we are body soul and spirit so your body starts to just get engaged with what the Lord is doing inside of you the Lord shows me how he's waking you up and how he's showing that you have authority that you are a light that you can start shining with the authority that he has given you and start seeing how things start to happen how things start to move you operate in the Lord you wake up today Lord I step into you and I just see how 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 that that fire just starts to get released out of you be blessed hey Floyd uh, God bless you uh, Floyd I I really feel that the Lord says uh, that maybe you move slower than you thought you would move uh, but you're moving in the direction that God wants you to, to, to go and you have a lot of strength. You know, some, sometimes you have these big vehicles that can carry a lot of load, but they can't go really fast. And I just felt that that's what's happening, uh, but you're going to go a long distance and the Lord is going to help you and He's going to supply continuously in your life. God bless you, Floyd. All right, so Ingrid. Uh, Ingrid, the Lord shows me how you're going from one place uh, to another place. Uh, and I just felt how the Lord is going to really open up a door for you to, to transition. Um, but uh, then the Lord showed me a cat. Uh, and how this cat was able to climb these branches uh, to get from the one place to the other place. Now you know a cat, uh, they can climb funny places and they got a tail to help them balance and they're not scared to fall. And I just felt that the Lord says, do not fear. I'm going to help you to transition from where you are and I'm going to give you balance and I'm going to give you joy and even when you when other people around you is fearful you're not going to be fearful because you're going to realize but the Lord is transitioning me from the old place to the new place and the old place is a place of lack the new place is a place where there's so much anointing where there's so much of God happening and where you, you, you have a place where you can function and you can be used by the Lord and so I just see transition and, and, and success and, and balance. God bless you. Amen. Wow, that was such a cool word. God loves you. God bless you, Ingrid. This next word is for Frankie. Frankie, I just see an ocean of God's love coming over you. And I just feel how the Lord says that I've called you not to be. Um, I just feel that there was a lot of situations that came and that you felt like you needed to get harder and become a bit more angry so that you can deal with this. And I just feel the Lord is just breaking down those walls. And he says, I haven't called you to walk in 
and all this frustration. I've called you to walk in my joy and freedom. So I just feel God is really giving you so much freedom right now. And right now where you are, God is covering you, covering you and your family with the blood of Jesus, with safety, protection. I just feel the Lord says, uh, just like I, how I put a ring of fire around the children of God before they went over the um, Red Sea. I just feel the Lord is really placing a ring of fire around you and your family. So I just feel the Lord is just completely removing fear. And then I, I feel how the Lord's called you to be a gardener. And I see how um, it, it was like, instead of being a hunter, you're going to become a gardener now and you're growing. Um, you're, and I just, you, I just see how you're growing this garden. And I just feel that it's going to be really such a generational blessing for your children and also how they're going to get involved and help you build this and I just feel how it's not only going to supply to you but you will overflow for your community as well I just feel that's a promise so I just feel the Lord says I've called you to have not only be a gardener but to be a prosperous gardener God bless you and then thank you please leave us a comment listening to it is for Joe Joe the Lord shows me how how he wants you to crack open that that oil vase inside of you and just start to release that oil onto onto the feet of Jesus in in the place that he has that he has placed you to start to release that oil your gifts your talents and just and just and your love you just release it don't hold it in the Lord shows me how how when you release he comes in immediately and he gives you more when we yield to the Lord it's not I'm yielding and I hope this all goes well it is I'm, I'm yielding I'm yielding all this and you get all of this all of this amazing amazing love amazing provision amazing clarity in the Lord yielding is 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 by giving away Lord have this is the most you can do for yourself and for the body of Christ Lord I yield this to you be blessed hey, Joe uh, uh, Joe when I think about you uh, the Lord just reminds me of how he restored double back mm -hmm. to Job that he has lost. And, and I just felt that the Lord says that your future is better than your past. Mm -hmm. And the Lord is going to do tremendous things in your life. Uh, and this is not a time uh, to cry, uh, but this is a time of rest, restoration and restitution. And, and you know, sometimes uh, we, we um, are sad about what happened, but sometimes we need to rise up and war with the prophetic words and the promises that God gives us. And I just feel that the Lord says, He's taking you out of mourning. He's trading your uh, your uh, cloak of mourning for a, a cloak of praise. Mm -hmm. And you're going to fight and you're going to overcome the battle. Joe, jo, God loves you very, very much. The Lord is with you. He's on your side. He's going to help you. Uh, God bless you. Uh, so the next word is for Martin. Uh, so Martin, uh, I, I feel that the Lord says, uh, three income streams. Uh, I just see how you uh, get really busy. Uh, you work a lot of hours. You meet amazing people that help you, that want to help you, that want to give you the, the information and also the st strategies that you need. And I see how the Lord really helps you and bless you. And this is a, a foundation that you're building right now for future things that God wants to bring into your life. And so it means you're going to really put in a... Uh, the, the effort and the sacrifice, uh, but the reward is great. And so uh, in the Bible, it talks there about the, 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 the Lord gave unto the one five talents and the other one two talents, uh, and they doubled that talents, and then the Lord promoted them. And I felt that the Lord says, He's giving you talents, and, and you are doubling those talents, and the Lord is going to bring promotion into your life. But this is a time to really push and, and to keep your joy and not be tired, um, and then, you know, the way we don't get tired is we walk in a spirit. And so the Lord is challenging you to not uh, uh, make a door open for the flesh, but to walk in a spirit. God bless you. Amen. This next word is for um, Bridget. Bridget, I just see how the Lord takes your hand and he takes you outside. And then it's like you look at the sky full of stars and it's like you're looking at it for the first time. And then just God is just showing you all the promises that he has for you. And, he, and he's just revealing so much beauty to you. And I, I just 
feel that you have this longing in your heart for so much more and I just feel the Lord says that is my gift to you so I just feel the Lord really wants to gift you with something really um, really miraculous and then um, Bridget I, I just feel how the Lord has called you to um, he's really given you like a covering of purity and righteousness and I just feel how the Lord is 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 really removing the chains of fear and stress and burdens off of your life he's lifting that up and the Lord is giving you um, if it's if I could describe it it's like a beautiful dress it's, I just feel the Lord is clothing you with his joy with his love um, um, with with his might and I just feel the Lord says that you are not powerless and that I, I see how you like in the in the presence of God and how you actually ask God for power is it God I want to I want to pray for people and for stuff to happen I want you to use me mm -hmm. and I just feel the Lord says I've heard you and I'm going to use you in amazing ways I, I just feel the Lord says do not Get your heart closed with, with the stress and pressures of this world. Lay it all down at his feet. And I just feel how the Lord is really going to raise you up in so much power and love and through his glory. God loves you. God bless you. Amen, Bridget. Please leave us a comment. This next word is for Christopher. Christopher, the Lord says, like, if you are open to receive, you will receive. And if you are closed up, you are going to feel, you're going to feel this emptiness. You will go to, to, to church and, and you will just be there and you're like, wow, I didn't receive anything. If, but if the Lord says, if you are not hungry, if you do not have your hand out to grab what is in front of you, because I, I really see the Lord is saying that, what? Well, that he has placed you there for a reason and if you are there where the word of the Lord is being spoken or you hear the word of the Lord there's something there that he wants you to grab onto so the Lord shows me how you just widen your ears I don't know open your ears widen your ears open your ears and and like reach out your hands to receive what the Lord has placed in front of you be blessed hello Christopher uh, God bless you uh, so family uh, I got my my uh, juice here and I got uh, some uh, something to eat and so we are going to have communion but we first just gonna finish ministering to uh, the people that are on the list and then we're gonna have communion together so if you would you can go and find yourself a piece of bread and or uh, juice or water or a cracker whatever you want and then we can just take communion together all right so uh, Norma, uh, I really felt that the Lord says that He is your husband, that He will take care of you, that He has a covenant with you and that He walks with you. And I see the whole time how you connect yourself with, but there's probably two or three different relationships uh, where people were not uh, honorable towards you, but the Lord says, I'm bringing restoration to you. And even that, uh, it's almost like when someone betray you and, and you know, you can metaphorically say someone put the, a, a knife in your back. I just see how the Lord just comes and he removes that knife and he heals your back. He reheals your heart and he says to you, you need to love people. You need to forgive people, accept people. And because you have a mother anointing on your life. And so that's going to be stopped. Uh, if you're going to have that heart that was betrayed, that sore. Uh, and so the Lord is just pouring out His oil and He's bringing healing into your life. And the Lord says, I have a covenant with you. I'm covering your back. Um, I'm walking with you and I'm putting my covering of protection over you. Norma, the Lord loves you very, very much. He's passionately in love with you. And He's bringing restoration into your life so that you can open up your mother heart and let the love of God flow out of you. God bless you. Amen. God bless you, Norma. God loves you so much. This next word is for Kimmy. Um, Kimberly. Uh, sorry. sorry. Kimberly, um, I know your name means leader um, and it's a really cool name. And I just I just feel how, how the Lord has really called you to really uh, so the picture I saw was that you're so beautiful, that you have such a beautiful heart and it's just like when people see you that you glow because you have the glory of God. But then but it, and then sometimes it feels like, what should I do? And, and I, I saw a picture of um, this whole computer system, um, really cool screens and this really cool computer and the amazing mouse and, and everything. And the, But the problem is it wasn't working because it wasn't plugged in. And I just feel how the Lord says, I need you to tap into my presence because there's so much available for you so that you can function. And I just see how you can tap in more to the presence of God. And I see how God is really going to train you for projects or things that you used to do that would take like weeks or days to complete, how it would take 
take in such a smaller amount of time because God is really going to guide you and God is really going to bring so much favor and breakthrough in the way you do things and, 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 and everything. I just feel the Lord is really doing some time miracles in your life and there's a few things that you feel that the enemy has stolen from you in the past, especially time and um, that other people's taken from you. Um, you tried this and it didn't work and it hurt you and I just feel the Lord is really restoring all of that because he has time in his hands and he has such a purpose for you and he says the time that you are that I'm giving you right now is really going to be wonderful and it's and and you are going to do I just feel the Lord says that you are very precious of this time so I just feel the Lord says that spend time with me and I will bless the time um, when you go out you're still with God when you go out but you know what I'm saying and the, the time when that you're in the secret place spending time with God and then the time when you're out you're still in his presence and you're going to see so much breakthrough and you're going to get a lot done God loves you Kimberly God bless you Amen, Kimberly. Um, <laughs> please leave us, please leave us a comment. This next word is for Trevor. Trevor, I feel the word the Lord is, is saying to you. He says, find a way to get water to, to my crops. So the Lord shows me how he has planted a field. And he says, now I want you to, to take care of this field, to steward this field, to make sure that water is flowing. The Lord shows me how there's people around you. And those are, those are, his, those are his crops and that he, and that he wants you to to, to give them water, the word of the Lord, even the physical work, the, the book, but even just speaking his words of, of love and, 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 and encouragement and upbring and, and uplifting words that you build up these people. And, and I really see how as you do that, that, that you are making a line in the dirt for the water to, to find a path and that, and, that, and that they receive that water, that they will receive, that they will have hearts to receive when you, when you start to speak the word of the Lord. Be blessed. Hey, Trevor, God bless you. Family, I see there's some wonderful comments where you just encourage us. I just want to say thank you very much for each one of those comments. Uh, we got still four people that we're going to minister to and then we're going to take communion. Uh, so, uh, Christina, uh, the Lord shows me how you are a builder. You've got a builder anointing step by step, line upon line, st with strategy. Uh, uh, the Lord has given you a lot of wisdom, uh, like, a, like a wise builder. Uh, but the Lord has also put on you an anointing to bring people into the kingdom of God. And so I see how you built your life, how you built your family, but how you also built the ministry that the Lord has given to you line upon line. And that includes leading people into the Lord and walking with them, making sure that they are operational in the kingdom of God. And so the Lord is so proud of you. Uh, you've come far, but the Lord says there's so much more an increase that the Lord is going to bring into you. And I feel the now word for you is a season of acceleration and joy. God bless you. Amen. This next word is for Ansi. Ansi, the Lord loves you so much. And I just feel how um, God... I, I just feel that you can be very analytical, but also very creative. I don't know if you play an instrument, but I saw how you were playing an instrument and worshiping the Lord. And I just feel how when you worship him, God gives you ideas. And it was like, um, I, I just feel the Lord calls you a genius and the Lord calls you to be um, a person with ideas and, and an inspiration. I just feel the Lord says that you are, there's a lot of people right now in, in on their phones and they don't feel like they have a life and they, and they, and it's very sad. You always see people on their phones and, and I just feel how the Lord has called you to really to encourage a lot of people to to know their purpose, who they are. You're going to prophesy over young people saying that you do have a purpose. God has given you a calling and, and you're going to train up people instead of being consumers they're going to be producers that they're going to make stuff and 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 really that's going to to really change the world so i just feel the lord says i've given you a calling to really reach young people and prophesy into their lives that they can be creative and they can make something amazing so i just feel the lord says i've called you to inspire so let your light shine god bless you amen auntie i hope we're pronouncing your name right please leave us a comment this next word is for shanae the lord sh the Lord shows me this this woven basket and how and how you have woven this basket and you bring it to the Lord and he just fills it up with I see how there's groceries in there how there is um I see a, like a, a laptop is in there and also 
this 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 really really fresh water but you you have made a space for the lord to bless you you have even that basket is representing you how you have how you and you've allowed yourself to be woven in the lord and how and and even his blessing is just to be in his presence is always such a blessing but i really see how the lord is going to bless you when you weave yourself in with the lord and you make sure that you are always always entangled and connected to him be blessed amen god bless you this next word is for jane jane it's so good to see you i just see how um you you go into this brand new house and you have this whole vision of how to make it beautiful um and and then and then you look at it and then it's like, you know, when you, before you do something, you have a plan of how you want to do it. But then the moment you come into the place, like, okay, I need to do something totally different because that's not going to work. And I just see how you are so obedient in those times and how the Lord all of a sudden, it's like you came into the house and like, I had the plan for this, how to make this beautiful. But now God has given me this new plan. And I just see how you act on it and how it just becomes so amazing. And I just feel, I just feel the Lord is so proud of you. It is like you kind of lay down your old way of thinking and said, Lord, for this new situation, take over. And I just feel the Lord is really going to bless you with it. So keep on coming to his presence and hearing what he's saying, because I really feel um, it, what, whatever you're doing right now in your ministry, your house, your business, in your life, you are make, you are building something so beautiful. And I just and I just feel the Lord says there's not only going to be a gift and a blessing to you, but a lot of people, especially in your family um, and, and and the people in your communi community. And then Jane, I, I just see how um, you you put your hand on your stomach and how you start praying and rivers of living water flow through you. And I just feel God is just doing such a deep peace in your life and then I also just feel how the Lord is really opening up your eyes um, for you to have dreams to see in the prophetic to see to see the face of Jesus and I just feel God is really taking you into a new environment it's like when you close your eyes you're gonna see yourself in a garden with God I just feel the Lord really has um, prepared like the secret place for you when you spend time with him you're gonna see you're gonna see your, yourself with him and I really feel it's gonna it's gonna really change your life so I just feel the Lord this is a life changing season that you're in and God is really going to do an amazing thing. God loves you Jane. God bless you. Amen Jane, please leave us a comment. This next word is for Christine. Uh, Christine, the Lord shows me how you plant a flag in your in your heart. Say, Lord, I belong to you. I was bought with a price, and how you how you plant that flag in your heart, and I see how 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 you actually die to yourself because you're like, Lord. I belong to you and then you plant the flag and then you you die to yourself and the Lord shows me how but this is so this is so 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 real but in in the best way possible and that and that he raises you up again as 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 who you are in him your identity in the Lord and and the Lord shows me how how he's just waking you up and how your eyes are are shining brightly and how your mouth is is burning with 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 prayers and with songs for the Lord when you die to yourself when you lay yourself down the Lord shows me how your feet and your hands they just start dancing and praising and making I see how you like make music with your hands but with 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 the air with the Holy Spirit you're just just following him when you when you lay yourself down and you and you die to yourself and you deny your flesh and you live if you live your life fully for the lord and the lord shows me how how he is really really going to wake you up and shake you and it is going to be amazing be hey christine god bless you hi cushy i see your name there on the list but <laughs> um I, we kind of running out of time but we'll catch you on monday um then i'll 100 make sure that we put your name on the list um so but i want us to to take communion together now so i got um uh the bread here and also the juice the, tonight we're just having water so uh, what i want you to do is if you can take that piece of bread and what we're going to do is we're going to make a trade with the Lord. Now, how the Lord works, let me just take this. I just need the juice. Thank you. Yeah, okay. Um, uh, how the Lord works is we make a trade with Him. So you can think about everything in your life that's broken. That could be finances, relationship, physical health, 
um, could be your children, maybe someone needs to come to the Lord, uh, you could uh, mental problems, you feel a little bit depressed or anything in your life that's not perfect, you can take that to the cross. You can say to the Lord, Lord, I give it to you. And then what the Lord then does, He makes a trade with you and He gives you His wholeness. And so it's not about the, the principle that you learn something, it's about doing it tonight. And so I want you tonight to come and just, you know, sometimes we can take all our, our past and our brokenness and even our successes, we can bring it like a, a bouquet of flowers to the Lord and give it to Him. And the Lord gives us His future. You know, every day of your life was written down. And the Lord knows your future and He knows what you're going to need. So you want to try it for your future and say, Lord, uh, whatever you want me to do, whatever you want me to give to you, I lay it down before you turn. You know, in the Bible it talks there that 24 elders actually take the crowns of the heads and they lay it down before the Lord. Because that causes them to be empowered with the new crown for the new season. Uh, and so they lay down that old crown. It, you know, it was wonderful, but move into the new. And so, Lord, we come before you today, Lord, even as we take uh, this bread uh, or biscuit or whatever you have. And so, Lord, we take that today. And Lord, this is a, a picture of the body of Jesus that was broken for us. And so, Lord, we bring all our brokenness to you today. Our health issues, our financial issues, relationship issues, people in our family that are not saved, uh, depression uh, that we struggle with or anxiety or confidence or maybe lack of vision for our lives. Uh, and so, Lord, even our communities that are broken, Lord, we bring those things before you today. And so, Lord, we give it to you. Lord, we trade it. And, Lord, we receive now your wholeness. And so just where you sit, just breathe in. Just receive, uh, you know, when God made Adam, he uh, breathed his breath of life into Adam, the Spirit of God. And so, Lord, we just receive it right now in the name of Jesus. And so I want you to, to eat this biscuit right now as, as, a, as, a, as a sign and as a symbol of you receiving the wholeness that God gives you today. So Lord, thank you for your wholeness. And then I want you to take the, the juice. Jesus, thank you for your blood. That is the symbol of our covenant with you. And Lord, just like the husband would give... Um, the wife or the bride, the, the wine and say, will you drink this cup? And she would say, yes, I want to be in a covenant with you. Lord, today we receive the cup from you. And we say, yes, Lord. We agree with every word that you speak over our lives. And we want to be in a covenant relationship with you. And so, Lord, we drink this cup. And Lord, even as we drink this cup, uh, the blood of Jesus washes uh, our, us clean, washes our sins clean. And Lord, this covenant, this love relationship that we have with you is renewed tonight. We receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Family, Jesus is so good to us. The Lord is blessing us. His hand is upon us. Uh, he's healing you. He's strengthening you. He's opening up new doors for you. And so you have no reason to fear. You can be an, an absolute peace in your life. Um, it was a, a wonderful time of ministry for us. We're going to be back again Monday evening, um, 6 o'clock South African time. We look forward to have you there. We will probably be a bigger team, um, but uh, we look forward to ministering to you. Have a fabulous weekend. I also want to remind you, uh, Unity with Heaven, uh, the teaching channel, we put yesterday uh, a teaching out about holiness, and I think it's a brilliant teaching. It will be good for you to listen to it, and then tomorrow we're going to uh, post another one. Have a fabulous weekend. God bless you. Thank you for listening to Unity with Heaven. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with someone who needs to hear this message. Until next time, walk in His glory.